you ever saw an ambulance or heard the sound of it and you were like, I really do not want this car to ever come by my house as in pick up someone from my place. May Allah protect us, Ya Rab. Well, there is a dua if you actually heard something like that or saw someone who was so sick or you saw someone who was struggling financially or someone who was just so disobedient and you don't want to be in their shoes. There is a dua if you say it, you won't go through that. Just like that one time, I was in an airplane in Ramadan traveling from Connecticut to Michigan. And while I was, you know, seated in my seat, I was talking on the phone and I, I said some words in Arabic as people were passing by to their seats. There was a guy that was so drunk, brothers and sisters, and he was acting foolishly. He sat somewhere in the back, uh, so much so that to the extent that he started making sounds as in like, why are we still here on the ground? Let's keep going, let's go. And he made a scene. Anyhow, throughout the flight, he was walking and walking towards me until I got smacked on my left shoulder. And the guy said, how are you, Habibi? And I'm like, what is this? Out of all people, he chose me. So I said, I'm good, Alhamdulillah. And he, come, he came so close to me. He said, I'm a Muslim. And I can smell the alcohol, subhanAllah. May Allah forgive us. He said, I'm a Muslim. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And everybody was staring at him and me. Ya Allah. There's a lot that can be said. I'll tell you what happened later on, inshaAllah. But in this situation, I saw a guy who says, I'm a Muslim, who is very drunk, intoxicated, in Ramadan. I really do not want to be in that position. I don't want to ever change in a way that I leave the deen or go into drinking alcohol. So there is this dua. If I say it, inshallah, I will not be in that position. And if you say it, when you see someone in such similar situation or so, sick, etc., you'll be protected bi And may Allah guide all those who are struggling. Ya Rabbil Alameen. What's a dua? For us to say, Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. For what? Alhamdulillah. الذي عافاني مما ابتلاك به Praise be to Allah, the one who basically protected me from what he has afflicted you with. Alhamdulillah that I'm not facing what you are facing. Number three. وفضلني على كثير ممن خلق تفضيلا And praise be to Allah, the one who has blessed me so much in a way more than many of others whom he has created. Whoever says that, I'll read it one more time. Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, الذي عافاني مما ابتلاك به, the one who has protected me from being afflicted with what you were afflicted with. وفضلني على كثير ممن خلق تفضيلا, and the one who has blessed me greatly more than a lot of people, the ones whom Allah has created. One more time. Alhamdulillah. الذي عافاني مما ابتلاك به وفضلني على كثير ممن خلق تفضيلا You say this dua the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said You will not face that affliction that you saw or you heard about لم يصبه البلاء Brothers and sisters make sure to say it inshallah and we ask Allah to guide all people that guy that brother in the airplane I said this dua may Allah accept ya Rabbil Alameen he was acting up so much and I tried to get my phone, you know, because he was like acting very weird. And he got so irritated and he said, I'm going to see you outside the airplane and punch you. Wallahi, true story. This was in Ramadan. Anyways, I waited a little bit in the airplane. Then I, as, I was, as I was exiting the, you know, the bridge to leave, Alhamdulillah, he was gone. May Allah guide him, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and protect us. Comment below. Did you ever hear or see something like that? Someone in disobedience or someone who was so sick? that you really now can say this dua, yani, Ya Allah, please, I don't want to go through that. Comment below a scenario or a story that you went through. May Allah bless you and protect you. Wassalamu alaikum.